I'm Ben, I'm a test engineer at the Virtual Forge, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about software testing, although from an angle you might not have heard before. There are thousands of videos, books and blogs out there about what software testing is and how to do it. And while they can all be useful in their own way, hopefully today I can get you to think about it slightly differently. The process of software testing can be defined in several ways. Checking that a system meets business requirements, validating that a system works correctly in the hands of a user, measuring if a system performs within an acceptable time frame, or simply just trying to find bugs. But at the center of all those different statements is one core element, quality. Just how good is the product we're creating and how can we measure that? It occurred to me that one way we can think about this is to consider the famous thought experiment of Schrodinger's cat. To paraphrase the experiment as best I can, cat is placed into a box with some poison. The box is sealed, so you cannot see inside. After a certain amount of time has elapsed, the poison will either have been released or it won't. So the cat is either going to be dead or alive. The idea of this rather gruesome experiment is that until you open the box and have a look inside, you have no idea what state the cat is in. In fact, and this is the weird bit, until you open the box and have a look inside, you have to consider the cat to be both alive and dead at the same time, because you cannot know for sure either way. Now, I know this isn't the perfect analogy for software testing, but the point I want to get across is this. How do you ever really know how good your system or product is? You have to observe it just as we had to observe the cat. So let's move away from cats in boxes and look at these ideas in the world of software development. We can consider observation in two different ways. The objective view, where we take an independent look at the product we're creating in order to provide an unbiased opinion. Or the subjective view, which is more of a practical, pragmatic look at the product to ensure that we really deliver something that will satisfy our particular client's needs. Matching these two sometimes opposing views together is one of the big challenges in creating really top quality software. In testing terms, we take the objective view when we perform things like functional testing. When I press a button, the system responds in the correct way. Performance testing, when I press a button, I don't have to wait forever for a response. And regression testing, when I press a button, some other part of the system doesn't explode. We take the subjective view when we do things like user acceptance testing. When a user logs in, they access everything they need for their specific job. UX testing. Does the system feel good to the user? Do they enjoy using it? Is it intuitive? When we can successfully bring subjective and objective observation together through our expertise as software designers, developers and testers, we stand the best chance of creating something of real quality. Something we can be proud of. If you enjoyed this video please give us a like and subscription for more content in the future and if you'd like to learn more about the services we offer at the virtual forge our contact details are in the description i'm ben and that's it for this episode of blog talk oh and no cats were harmed in the making of this video